Um, honestly, I mean, without sounding cheesy, it was a dream come true. As a little girl, I've always um, adored Whitney Houston. I, I like I had this dream. I want to play Whitney Houston when I'm older. And as I grew up, I said, "Okay, so you don't look like Whitney, and you surely don't sound like Whitney." So I had to kind of let that dream die. But when this opportunity presented itself, I thought, "Oh my gosh, what bigger than life opportunity to to shed light and to kind of offer some kind of justice or peace to one of to Whitney Houston's favorite person in the world, her actual baby." And so I felt this huge responsibility, um, but then at the same time, like this, this huge blessing, a huge gift. And so I took it very personally, um, very seriously. I felt like, you know, I have to honor this family. Absolutely. And what about the two of you? What was it like getting asked to be a part of this project? I mean, for, for me, it was, uh, you know, I was honored and, and uh, humbled and, and at the same time because, you know, you know, portraying someone like Bobby as iconic as he is and one of a kind, it's like you don't ever think that you're the guy cut out for such a uh, ordeal or a job, you know. So, you know, for me, it was just I had to breathe and take it all in for a second. And then the same as Joy, for Joy, as, as she said, it was like, you know, now it just it, it felt like it was a, a, you know, like a duty, so, so yeah. to speak. Like I, I had to. This was, you know, my, uh, yeah, my calling. Did you, did you talk to, sorry, could do, go ahead. Did you talk to Bobby at all before well, or anything? Unfortunately, I, I didn't get a chance to, but then at the same time, I thought, well, maybe that was for the best, too, because then this way I don't go in with this biasness, and then, you know, I feel like I have to kind of cater to Bobby more than just, you know, the, yeah, the exactly, so the story itself. So, yeah, you know, I didn't get to, get a chance to, but I think it was for the best. Yeah. For myself, the very first thing that I wanted to do was read the script, I think along with the rest of us, to make sure that uh, the script was tasteful, um, because we lost two amazing, right. amazing women. And um, I was a friend of both of theirs and loved them very much. Mm -hmm. So the very first thing that I asked was, can I read the script? Uh, I read the script. It was wonderful. Uh, they asked me to play. I played Pat Houston. I pay, played the auntie. And... Um, we, we did a wonderful job, and, and what I'm going to tell you, when you all see, especially Demetra McKinney, who unfortunately isn't here with us today because um, she's working in Atlanta, she did the most amazing portrayal of Whitney Houston. When I'm telling you, there was times that it, I forgot I was watching Demetria from all of the essence, like she just did a wonderful job that I got chills, but everyone in, in the entire cast did a wonderful job, and we were very blessed that we had the director, Ty Hodges, who wanted to make sure with the script that we humanized these characters, that we explained the connections and why certain events took place so that you could get to know them outside of them. Whitney Houston, major rock star, Bobby Brown, major rock star, that you got to know them as people and connect the dots and their feelings and how as a family they interacted with one another.